Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David and Devin and we are back with another video. Now in this video guys, I'm going to be doing something very, well something similar but it's going to be very different to what I've been doing. Yes, the gloves are bad guys. If you guys have missed the gloves, please just smash the like button on this video. But now that the NFL season is finally over, I can move on to doing NFL prediction videos. I've been doing a lot of predictions because you guys have been loving them. And if you guys want to see more, please just smash the like button and comment down below which team you want me to do next. Or which driver do you want me to do next. Because somebody commented that down that I should do Jimmy Johnson and NASCAR. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite team in the NFL. And we're going to be going over their schedule. The home, the home, rec the home things, the home matches first, then the away. And we're gonna be basing off the, you know, like what happened like this past season and what I think is gonna happen due to the Falcons now getting all their players back. And yeah, that's what basically we're gonna talk about today. So let's begin off with the Carolina Panthers. I was about to call them the Arizona Panthers. Carolina Panthers. The Panthers are a really, really good team that you know like have proven to give us like. Um, you know, like a problem in the past, like past years, but I think we're gonna beat Carolina and I think we're gonna win. We're gonna have our first. Well, I don't know, I don't know the schedule, guys, because they haven't released like the specific schedule. This is just like the teams we're gonna be playing. So, next up, obviously, and the Panth uh, Carolina Panthers, the Bucks, and the Saints are all our division rivals, so that will go to it. So the Bucks, we're definitely going to beat. The Bucks don't have a chance of beating us, especially with all our defensive guys coming back from injury and Devontae Freeman coming back from injury. They don't have a chance of beating us at home. Definitely not. Now this is the team that I really am scared of at home in our division, and that is the Saints because the Saints are a real are probably the best team in the NFC South besides us. I would put this. I would put. Ten, I would really put the Saints over us just because of Drew Brees. Then it's the Falcons, then it's the Panthers, and the Bucks. But I think at home, we're going to have a good chance against the Saints, and I think we're going to beat the New Orleans Saints at home. So next, we have the Rams. The defending NFC, NFC Conference champions. Now, I really was tough to give this because based off the Super Bowl, we don't know how the Rams are going to play next season. But if they do play like they did past season, this past season, the Rams will beat us at home. And I'm sorry to all my Falcons fans that thinks so we have a chance of beating the Rams. But if Joff, you know, he plays, plays like before he did, before he made the Super Bowl, I think they're going to beat us. And it all, it all really depends on the injuries and what kind of injuries we actually have in the season coming up. But the next game we have is against the Jacksonville Jaguars. The team that's in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm from Florida, so. And this game is going to be at home, so I think it's going to be an easy win for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I don't I don't know the score. I should probably do... A, if you guys want to see me do another NFL team with the score I think is going to happen, then put that in the comments down below. Hashtag NFL in the comments down below, and I will get to that. The next team we have against is going to be the Tennessee Titans. Yes, the Tennessee Titans, the team from Tennessee, obviously. <laughs> we're going to play them at home, and we're going to beat them at home. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks, who made the NF, who actually made the playoffs just barely. But I actually think we're going to beat Seattle at home. And right now, we've only lost one game at home. I think we're going to do very good at home. I really do think so. I don't think, I think most of our games we're going to lose is going to be away. But finally, the final game, well, one of the, the one of the final games at home is against the Eagles. And the Eagles have beaten us the last two times we played them. I know last year was at the Eagles, this year it's going to be at the Falcons, but I don't think we're going to beat the Eagles this year. I think Carson Wentz is going to be good. They're not going to have Nick Foles, so that's going to be a factor because Nick Foles beaten us the last two times they, they we played us. But I think the Eagles are going to beat us at home, and I think we're only going to have two losses at home in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Now moving on to the away pictures. The division rivals I put last because that's division. Um, but first off we have the Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals have the first pick in the NFL draft and it's most likely likely that we they will pick a defensive player due to all the defensive players that are good in the draft this year. But we're gonna beat the Arizona Cardinals at their house and you know, like have an away win. The next team we play is a oh, I was about to say Tennessee Texans. Jeez, David, 
the Houston Texans where Deshaun Watson currently plays. I think we're going to beat them at Houston, and that's going to be our second away win. The next team, I don't think we even have a chance of beating just because of their offensive line if it plays as good as they did this year. We play the Colts in the Colts. No, no. Er Andrew Luck, I honestly, I hate to say this, Andrew Luck is one of the greatest quarterbacks that I've seen play. You know, like, even though he's been injured, when he came back, bro, he carried a team, he, ca he carried a team back to the playoffs. After being injured for almost two years. Come on. He's one of the, he's one of the best quarterbacks I've seen play. So I think we're going to lose against the Indianapolis Colts. Moving on. We have the San Francisco 49ers, who I think have the third selection or second selection in the NFL draft. Um, but when it comes to the 49ers, they don't have a very well put team together. Our former offensive coordinator is their head coach, but I think this is going to be an easy win by the, over the San Francisco 49ers at the 49ers, and we're going to have our win again. The next game we have, if you guys have been remembering, we had three losses so far. Um, the Colts, the Eagles, and the Rams. Moving on from the 49ers, this is another tough one because this team is a very good, very good team. You know, we, we would definitely play against. It's the Vikings. And I gave us the win. For I didn't really have a reason for us giving us a win just because I think it's going to be a very close game, but I think we're going to pull it out at the end. So that's another win. Now we get to division rivals. The Saints. At the Saints. Straight up. Sorry, Falcons fans. Sorry, everyone that's a Falcons fan, but at, at the Saints, Saints are going to beat us. Saints are going to beat us at, at the Saints. We have, we have a better chance at home than we do at the Saints. Number 15, well, what I have, the Bucks. We're gonna beat the Bucks, we're gonna sweep the Bucks, that's gonna be it. And the Panthers. I honestly think the Panthers, Cam Newton's gonna go off at Carolina and beat us. So if you guys have been paying attention, at the end of the season, the Atlanta Falcons final record, what I predict will be, is 11 and five. And that could be a, you know, like a conference winning record, but I don't think it's going to be. I think it's just going to get us in the playoffs, which I would take next year. I would just take playoffs after, you know, like injuries hit us this season. And it's just been so, it's been so terrible. Like, I'm just ready for this season to be over. But that's it, guys. I want, I want you guys, I want to thank you guys for all supporting these past few videos. Please do smash the like button, guys. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. See you guys later. Peace.